After eating this moe moe recipe that I'm about to show you now, you will have no other option but to want to eat it every single day because they were so delicious like you guys super super delicious so if you're interested to see how i made this delicious and the yummy delicious moi moi <laughs> or beans pudding beans cake as some people may call it then please keep on watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let's start cooking So guys here is my beans i just took it out from the freezer now i washed these beans about three weeks ago and it has been in my freezer since then so today i have just decided to use it to make my moi moi because that's what we are going to be having for lunch today so what i'm going to do now is to open it up and uh, pour some warm water over it so it can defrost easily and very fast if you want to see how i wash my beans i'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this video so you can watch it i already washed and peeled this one so in case you're wondering you need to wash and peel your beans before you use it for your moi moi i need to pour some water here so this thing can come off easily so here is the beans i just added some water and uh, while we are still waiting for the beans to defrost we are going to go ahead to boil the fish because i'm going to be using fish for this recipe here is my fish and this is mackerel so i'm using mackerel for this recipe and uh, to that i'm going to be adding my ariosto seasoning this is a fish seasoning but if you don't have it you can use any seasoning cube or powder of your choice And I'm using only this amount of fish because of the quantity of beans I'm making. But if you are making um, the moi moi in a large quantity, you might want to use more fish. Then I'm going to be adding some salt. And that's all I'm adding to this. We are going to add some water and let it cook. I'm going to be adding about that much because I'll be using the stock for the moi moi now cover and let this cook for for about 10 minutes so here is our beans it has defrosted well, just these two that has refused but i'm going to be blending it like that and over here i have my scotch bonnet peppers i have two of those the red and the green one but it doesn't really matter the color doesn't matter you can use both green or both red and here i have my tatashe this is different from the usual bell pepper that you guys know let me show you this one this is the yellow one this is the red one you can see that they are both different they are not the same thing so this is the one i'm going to be using because i think this adds more color than the other one but if you can't find this one you can use the other one they both work but i just prefer to use this one whenever i'm making moi moi and here i have one onion you can use the red onion you can use the white one it doesn't really matter for me i'm using the white one so i'm going to add all of this inside my blender well maybe not all because i don't think my blender can contain everything all at once so we are going to keep adding until the blender says enough <laughs> I think I'll be doing this in two batches so I'm going to blend this first one and then I'll come back and blend the second one I'm going to add some water just about enough to blend the beans not too much because remember we are going to be using the stock from the fish to cook the moi moi so just about this much you can see just about half of what I have inside the blender
now you want to make sure you blend this until it is extremely smooth not roughly blended but very very smooth can you see how smooth that is very very smooth i'm going to leave some inside the blender because i don't want to add more water to this just about that much i think this one is a bit watery so i'm not going to be adding any more water And trust me guys that that long pepper is not hot at all just like the normal bell pepper you know the one that is hot is the smaller ones in case you're wondering Can you see how thick this one is so that's the perfect texture i'm looking for i'm going to mix it up and everything will balance well yes perfect this is stock cube and this is the one I'm using. You can screenshot if you want. So I'm going to be using one. Here is the fish stock, the stock we got from cooking the fish. So I'm going to be using it to mix this in. I don't want to use plain water because remember, I don't want to use too much water for my moi moi. So I'm going to be making use of this. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you throw this this cube inside there, it might not melt. So when you're eating the moi moi, you might be biting into chunks of um, the seasoning cube and you don't want that. So here is it. This one has refused to melt. I've been burning it, stirring it, but it has refused. So I'm going to add it like that and then mix it in properly. Then I'm going to finally add the fish stock. I'm going to be adding some palm oil. I like to add a tiny bit of palm oil. There's this local flavor and taste. It adds to the moi moi. So that's my reason for using it but if you don't want you can skip this one and then i'm going to be adding some maize oil you can use any vegetable oil of your choice if you don't have the palm oil you can use only the vegetable oil if you don't want the palm oil you can also use only the vegetable oil but i choose to add the both of them because they go so well last but not the least we are going to be adding some nutmeg make sure you add some nutmeg to this you will love the taste and flavor now we are going to mix everything together until they are well incorporated just take your time to mix it because if you don't mix it very well you might not like the outcome so take your time and mix everything together you can even use your hand mixer to do this can you see the consistency it's not too thick it's not too watery either it's just in between and this is exactly the perfect consistency you want for a perfect moi moi. Okay. <laughs> the 
don't mind me i'm just so happy for this my my family are going to enjoy this like it's been so long since i made moi moi here so i'm sure they will be so happy to see this and they are not even aware that i'm making moi moi for them today <laughs> so yeah i'm going to taste it to make sure everything is balanced well balanced okay i need to add some salt oh but it tastes super delicious oh my goodness <laughs> it's just lacking um the salt apart from the salt the taste is so so nice i thought the salt i added uh, when i was cooking the fish was going to be enough that was why i didn't add salt earlier so make sure you taste yours and uh, you know see if you need to add more seasoning and salt as well i'm going to taste it for the very last time perfect perfect here is the fish we are going to debone and shred the fish So over here, I already have some water on fire, which is already starting to boil. So before we start um, scooping out the moi moi butter, we need to boil some water. To so that, I'm going to be placing in this foil paper at the bottom of the pot. Alright guys, here is the, um, what is it called again, the fall plates. If you don't have this, you can make use of your plastic plates, but I prefer this one. So we are going to be pouring the moi moi butter inside the plates, but first we are going to mix it for the very very last time before we start doing that because I think everything must have settled down at the bottom of this bowl. Alright. So I'm going to be using this spoon. We are going to keep this aside and work with these ones. Here is the fish. I'm going to start adding the fish now just add as much as you want you don't need any measurement for this one now it's finally time to start covering up the plates some people like to use eggs for their moi moi but today i'm not in the mood I just want to, you know, have only the taste and flavor of the fish in my moi moi. But if you want, you can use both the fish and the egg, or you can use only eggs, depending on your choice. You can see the side I'm using, the shiny part, I use it to cover it. Now we are going to allow this to cook for about 30 minutes then we'll come back to check if it's done or not then if it's not done we'll continue cooking until the moi moi is properly cooked and we are going to do this on a medium to low heat so 
so what i'm going to do now is to rotate the plates the ones on top should go down and the ones down should come up all right guys this has been cooking for over an hour now about an hour 10 minutes i took out one and uh, checked and it's done so i'm going to turn off the heat now and we are going to allow this to cool down before we serve guys look at that our moi moi is ready i'm just going to use one to show you guys how perfect these are taste test mm, can you see that look at that perfect hmm so tasty you guys try this please i'm begging you try it and you are going to absolutely love it hmm i can't get enough of this wow Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs> Go and make yours. Okay, bye bye. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button. If you're new to my channel, please click on the red subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my latest upload.